हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड बेस्ड ऑन द स्ट्रक्चर नाउ नेक्स्ट टुडे वी विल लुक अबाउट द बेस्ड ऑन द साइड चेन नाउ लेटर ऑन दैट वी विल लुक अबाउट द बेस्ड ऑन मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड न्यूट्रिशनल रिक्वायरमेंट सो इन डिटेल ऑफ दिस साइड चेन वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस साइड चेन दैट विल डिसाइड द पर्टिकुलर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द प्रोटीन so that amino group and carboxylic group is present in amino acid but that will be utilized in a peptide bond formation so that will not making any particular charge over the protein but side chain which are present on this amino acid they are making different charge of the amino acid and that is making characteristic of the protein and based on that characteristic whether there will be solubilized or not solubilized in the water so based on the side chain so they are categorized in a three group first having non polar side chain non polar polar means that is solubilized in the water non polar means not solubilized in the water so simply you have to remember having non polar side chain so these all amino acid which have a non polar side chain will not be solubilized in the water so they include alanine proline valine leucine isoleucine so first we will look that alanine that is simple amino acid for the valine leucine and isoleucine so these three are the branch chain amino acid so this branching is present aliphatic chain is present hydrocarbon chain is present so it does not have any particular extra group so they will not be solubilized in the water same way proline it is a one kind of a different kind of amino acid that is called amino acid same way methionine there is a sulfur is present but in between the carbon atom phenylalanine and tryptophan phenylalanine that is particularly containing benzene ring and tryptophan that is one kind of a heterocyclic amino acid so all these are the hydrophobic means will not be solubilized in the water but interesting is that they will be solubilized in the lipid so they will be solubilized in the lipid and so it is making particular part in the particular cell membrane so lipophilic but hydrophobic means water insoluble but solubilized in the lipid so protein part made up of this having non polar side chain amino acid are mostly hydrophobic in nature so that will helpful to understand which protein will be present over which part of the cell so you can remember that this whole amino acid in a one particular mnemonic that is alavalin ppt alavalin ppt ala means alanine valine leucine isoleucine methionine ppt means phenylalanine proline and tryptophan so you can remember this mnemonic alavalin ppt alanine valine leucine isoleucine methionine phenylalanine proline and tryptophan so it will make easy to remember this particular side chain amino acid here you can see in the structure alanine that is ch3 group proline that particular hydrocarbon group is present valine leucine isoleucine and methionine all these are mostly containing hydrocarbon which will not be solubilized in the water but they will be solubilized in a lipid solvents having now in this based on side chain having uncharged means there is no particular positive or negative charge so it is also called non ionic but have a polar group so simple hydroxyl group that is called a polar group so hydroxyl group containing amino acid as well as hydrogen hydrogen itself that is also a polar so glycine that is simple amino acid containing hydrogen serine threonine that is hydroxyl group containing amino acid cysteine that is particular sh group tyrosine that is containing phenol group glutamine and asparagine that is called amide amide group containing amino acid these all are the particular uncharged they don't have a particular positive negative charge or ionic charge but they will be solubilized in the water so that is called uncharged non ionic polar side chain they all are the hydrophilic means salt water soluble type of the amino acid so this all you can remember as a gst ac g means glycine serine threonine a means asparagine and c means cysteine again that particular t means threonine that t that is coming two times so that is called tyrosine plus threonine so that mnemonic that also you can remember to remember particular having uncharged or non ionic polar side chain so here that particular group serine threonine and glycine here hydrogen is there hydroxyl group is there so they are the water soluble further amide group containing cohnh2 cohnh2 which is making it water soluble further cysteine that is also making it water soluble now 
having charge particular positive negative charge is there and so because of presence of this ionic charge they are making water soluble so ionic polar side chain they have the negative particular acidic amino acid and basic simple there is a one more that is a b and c so acidic and basic amino acid are called a charge polar side chain a b c you can remember that a b and c so a means acidic basic they are the charge polar side chain so they have a acidic now in this acidic to make this amino acid acidic there is an extra carboxylic group is present but at physiological ph this carboxylic group that is donating the hydrogen so making this particular amino acid negatively charged so they are negatively charged Be, being that acidic they are mostly donating h plus and become a negatively charged molecule so aspartic acid and glutamic acid they are the acidic and they are the negatively charged and become a charge polar side chain for the basic so having positive charge on the r group so histidine lysine and arginine so you can remember hla histidine lysine and arginine hla they all are the basic particular basic because they are containing nh2 group but in physiological ph at physiological ph this amino group is accepting one hydrogen and making it a nh3 plus means positively charged amino acid so they are the histidine lysine and arginine now among this basic amino acid arginine is called a most basic because it has a more amino group so in the structure we will look so particular lysine arginine and histidine you can remember hla that is histidine lysine and arginine this arginine have a total 1 2 and 3 amino group so it is called a most basic amino acid now it is negatively charged because its carboxylic group at the physiological ph donating hydrogen and converted into the negatively charged but this positively charged this basic amino acid at physiological ph accepting the hydrogen over this amino group and called as a positively charged so they are the ionic polar side chain so that all about the classification of amino acid based on the polarity so based on polarity they are classified in a two category polar and non-polar so acidic there we have seen that aspartic acid and glutamic acid basic that is hla that is histidine lysine and arginine now rest of them are the neutral that is asparagine serine cysteine glycine and threonine glutamine asparagine glutamine cysteine threonine serine so here glycine that is toward the non-polar side so glycine that is least polar among the polar amino acids so sometimes this mcq will be asked or this question will be asked which amino acid is least polar among all these polar amino acids so glycine that is least polar among all these polar amino acid same way tyrosine that is significantly polar tyrosine that is containing phenol group so that is among these non-polar amino acid it is significantly polar so you have to remember this glycine and tyrosine in this classification of the amino acid based on the side chain or based on the polarity so non-polar they are the alanine valine leucine isoleucine that is alanine simple amino acid valine leucine isoleucine they are the particular branch chain you can remember that alavalim so that is alavalim ppt alanine valine leucine isoleucine methionine then ppt means phenylalanine proline and tryptophan so that is based on the polarity they are classified 